which moves now to Roger Stone's home in Fort Lauderdale. That's where Janine Stanwood joins us live with what Stone had to say, Janine. Roger Stone has never shied away from the camera here at this townhouse in Fort Lauderdale. He spoke to us a short time ago. We love you, Roger! With a free Roger Stone face mask and black t-shirt, political operative Roger Stone emerged from his Fort Lauderdale townhome triumphant days before he was set to report to prison. As some of you may know, the president's uh, decision came literally in the nick of time. It was a late phone call from President Trump, who was just here in South Florida, Stone was hoping to receive. It was brief and cordial. He said uh, that uh, he had thought about it. He had followed my case throughout, uh, throughout, and he thought that I had been treated unfairly. Stone was convicted of obstructing a congressional investigation into Trump's 2016 campaign and has been openly lobbying for clemency. He tells us he was worried about COVID-19 in prison. And with the spike of cases here in South Florida, he claims he'll take every precaution as he fights to win on appeal. But I have to live long enough to get to the appeal. And at 67 years old, with a history of respiratory problems and other underlying health issues, the danger was very real. One more thing. Uh, at the end, uh, at the beginning of my trial, the judge ordered me that I could never do this again. So, there it is. There it is. Stone says he will work to clear his name, but first, pizza and beer with families and supporters here in Fort Lauderdale. We're in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.